Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Uh, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we are going to use the COVID data set available on BigQuery to answer few questions, okay? Interesting questions. So if you've seen my BigQuery video, I'm attaching the link in the description if you've not seen it before. So, you know, you land in this page, right? Basically when you go into BigQuery, so you can go into this data set, BigQuery public data, and as you scroll down, you will see this COVID-19 ECDC, okay? And under that, this is the table that has the data for COVID cases. I think it has data till uh, September 2020 only, okay? Anyways, we'll work with what we have. So to query this table, what you can do is, you can just click and say query, query new tab, okay? And I'm just gonna copy this, right? This is going to be the table. And uh, yeah, just let me run the query. Let's see what we get. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the date and then of course the day, month and year. Then we have the daily confirmed cases, right? So basically on that particular day, 20th March, there, were, there was one case in this country, right? The country is Chad. Chad is I think a country in Africa. So we have the daily confirmed cases as one column, okay? Then we also have daily deaths as you see. Then we have another column called confirmed case. What is the difference? So basically confirmed case is a cumulative sum of the total cases. So for example, if you see on uh, 20th March, daily confirmed cases was one. On 21st, there was nothing in this country called uh, Chad, okay. On 22nd, we had one, right? So if you add up from 20 to 22, what do we get? So we get one plus zero, plus one, which is two. And if you see confirmed cases column is doing that. It is doing a cum cumulative sum for all the days till that particular date. So as we move down here, it becomes three because there was one more case and in that country on the 25th of March, 2020, okay? So that is what this data is about. And I think we have some country code and all that, not too important. Then we have the population data for the country. For This is for Chad, okay? So the first question that we have, it's a pretty straightforward question. Uh, wait, so we need to showcase countries, okay? Let me just bring this down. So I, I wanna showcase countries that had 1000 plus like deaths for the month of July, 2020, okay? So the total number of deaths for that month, right? So the deaths for daily basis is given in daily deaths column. We want to find the countries that had more than 1000 deaths for the total month of July 2020. How can we do that? If you've, if you've seen my previous videos and uh, revised, you will know. It's pretty straightforward. So we can say countries and territories. Okay. Comma, we need to sum the daily deaths, right? Because we want to do it for a full month. Sum of daily deaths from the, you know, the given table. Let me just drag this a little bit. And then we need to group by countries and territories, correct? So it's a simple group by. And there's a twist that is, we need to do this only for the month of July, 2020. So in this case, what we can do is we could say, so where, so July is month number seven, right? So we could say month equal to seven as this table also has the month column as you see and uh, year equal to 2020, okay? So this is to filter for July 2020. So this will give all the countries, right? So let's run. Okay, so you see, you get all the data, you know, countries. So for example, Cuba just had one death in the full month, but we wanna filter only those countries which had more than thousand deaths. How can we do that? If you guys remember, to put a condition on an aggregated column, we could say having, right? So we'll say having sum of uh, daily deaths greater than a thousand, okay? If we put this condition and run it, let's see what we get. We get only countries, as you see, who have at least thousand deaths, right? So we get, now you get only 21 rows, as you see, right? We don't get all the countries. So Iran, Iraq, Peru, Chile, all these countries, India, all these had more than 1,000 deaths. 
for the month of July 2020. So we put a simple var condition to filter for July 2020. We are like, you know, summing the daily deaths and grouping it at a country level. And finally, since we want to only see uh, those countries which had 1000 deaths, we put that condition in the having clause, having sum of daily deaths greater than 1000. Okay. Pretty straightforward and I would say pretty interesting question. Okay. So let me just copy this part of the query again. Another question again, very simple. Now we want to show only for data for countries which end with the phrase Tan, like the last few letters of the word has to be S-T-A-N, right? Like Pakistan, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan and all that. How do we do that in uh, BigQuery? So we want to see all the data. So we could basically say select star from, okay. And uh, this is a revision of the like operator, if you guys know. So what we could do is we could say where countries and uh, territories, okay like and uh, yeah it has to end with a stan so we could say percentage stan right as simple as that it's a very straightforward question so now when i run the query you'll only get data as you see for all all the you know countries ending with stan like here we have pakistan and as i scroll through you will see some other countries ending with the stan right so for instance we will see kazakhstan then we will also see, uh, I think, countries like Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan, all that, right, as you see here. So, uh, whatever country ending with Stan, we get that data, okay. This is question number two, data for countries ending with the phrase Stan, okay. Moving on to question number three, we are supposed to find for which date each country had the highest number of cases, okay, highest number of cases. So, essentially, since we are giving daily data, like, for India for each date how many cases came we want to find the highest number of cases for each country and find the date when that occurred okay let us simply start with uh, checking this for India so I'll say where countries and uh, territories equal to India okay and how can we do this right to find the highest number of cases let's use one approach so we'll try to get the countries okay we'll also try to get the date then of course daily confirm cases right this is what we want to find and to kind of rank them in terms of descending order right so we want the highest highest daily confirm cases to get ranking number one we could leverage the rank function i've explained this in my window function video so check that playlist and you will be able to understand this concept clearly so we'd say rank over we want to do this ranking per country, right? For each country which state had the highest. So we would partition it first by countries, okay? And then the ordering is by daily confirmed cases, but descending because we want to give ranking number one to the day which had the highest number of cases, right? So that's why I put DESE. I'll give this alias name ranking, okay? We are first checking only for India. Let's see what we get. As you see in the given data, I think 17 September 2020 had the highest number of cases. It was around 97,894. It has been given the ranking one. Okay. Of course, this does not have the full COVID data till 2021, I think. But in the given data for India, this was the day with the highest number of cases. So we basically want to show this date, right? For India, it has to be 17 September 2020. So this is computed for India because we put where clause. If we remove this, the same ranking will be done for each country, right? So if I remove this and run, then we get this data for all countries. For instance, for Albania on 13 December 2020, it had the highest number of cases, 879. So it got a ranking one, okay? So basically now what we wanted the output is just to show the country and the dates where this ranking equal to one, right? So that will show the date for which that country had the highest number of case. Since we cannot, you know, put the ranking in the var clause since it is a window function. And as you guys may know, var clause is first executed and only then window function is executed. So we can't use it in the var clause. So I would say with A as, I will put this in a temporary table. Okay. 
then I will just say select star from A where ranking equal to 1 and uh, say I will order by daily confirmed cases descending this is not a must but yeah simply for the sake of it I am doing I think yeah the column name is wrong yeah now it should work okay so yeah for USA for example the highest cases came on 12th December 2020 for India it was 17th September 2020 and so on right for uh, United Kingdom it was 13 November 2020 right so for each country which they had the highest number of case we got that date we also have the daily confirmed case data so another interesting question as you guys see uh, which date did each country have highest number of cases we are leveraging rank function and also the width class okay I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.